This question says, at which position will the pendulum normally travel the fastest? Is it position A, which has the highest height compared to the other two options? Is it position B, which has the intermediate height? Or position C, which has the lowest height of the three options and is actually the lowest possible height as the pendulum swings from side to side? So in a pendulum, there will be a constant conversion between potential energy and kinetic energy. And the more kinetic energy the pendulum has, the faster it will be traveling. So let's assume the pendulum starts its path from the horizontal, so from the highest possible height. Well, at this position, the pendulum will have the highest potential energy. And as it continues to swing back to the other side, that potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy, and the speed will increase. So therefore, in A, which is at the beginning of its trajectory back to the other side, well, very little of that potential energy in the form of height above the ground has been converted to kinetic energy. So we should see A is being the slowest of the three, B being the second slowest, being that again, more of that potential energy has been converted to kinetic energy, and then C, we have full conversion or maximum conversion of potential energy to kinetic energy. After point C, as it continues to swing up higher, now that kinetic energy will be again converted to potential energy as it gains height. But at the lowest point in its trajectory, it will have the highest kinetic energy and the lowest potential energy. And if it has the highest kinetic energy, well then it will be traveling the fastest. And therefore the correct answer is C.